äh, wir wurden äh, öfters mal von äh, Kritikern of course, uh, in die falsche politische Empfehlung. Some of our critics uh, try to put us into the wrong wir, political corner. So we actually, that's the reason why we made this song. Um, um unseren Standpunkt klar zu To clarify our um, viewpoint um, really. And of course in order not to make it too simple, we gemacht. made the music as militant as possible. Super. With the collapse of communism and the reunification of Germany, the world had changed and this had a profound effect on the musicians of the former East Berlin. Suddenly, everything was different. For one thing, they had a lot of catching up to do. Everything from punk to techno was suddenly there to be devoured, assimilated and adapted to their own purposes. Then there was the realization that now they could actually earn a living through making music and they could compete with the legendary Western bands whose music they'd grown up with and until now had only listened to on poor quality bootleg tapes. There was also their radically different social situations and the rapidly changing political realities around them, all of which had to be reflected in their music and in their outlook. It was no wonder that many musicians quickly grew bored with their old bands and wanted to start all over again. Certainly that was how Richard Kruisper and Christoph Schneider felt. They had been working together on a side project from their respective bands since before the wall came down. But after reunification, they grew bored with their other groups and decided to concentrate full-time on their joint project. Guitarist Paul Landers followed Schneider from De Firma, while Kruisper tried to persuade the drummer from First Arsch, who he knew also sang occasionally, to join them as a vocalist. Till Lindemann was reluctant initially. He had never really seen himself as a frontman, but he eventually yielded to Kruisper's persuasion. In 1992, the four began rehearsing together. The initial concept of the as yet unnamed group was to combine machines with music of their own production and to create monotonous, partly boring, heavy music. All five members, bassist Oliver Riedel, having joined shortly after their formation, had very different musical tastes and influences, spanning heavy metal, punk, goth, classic rock and electronic dance music. But they were all committed to overcoming these influences in order to begin again with a clean slate. There was a scorched earth year zero philosophy to their music making. The one thing they were sure of was that they didn't want to imitate anyone else. Richard Kruisper had lived in America for a time and his old band had largely churned out American style rock music. His experience of the real thing, however, had led him to realize that this was futile and that it was impossible to play music from different cultures authentically. With his new project, he wanted to make music that was distinctly European, a modern sound for a new Europe, utterly unlike what anyone else was doing. Other European acts were still imitating English and American styles, creating poor, badly translated versions of the originals. If it's been done well before, then why bother doing it again? Rammstein found their own sound, though, as a result of knowing what they didn't want to do. They didn't want to play punk or funk or anything that didn't come naturally to them. They experimented and searched their souls, working with what they knew best and with the rhythm that was truly at their hearts. What they were all certain of was that they wanted to sing in their own language. Till had tried singing in English, but it was totally unconvincing and in any case, translation would distort the original meaning of his lyrics, which from the start relied on wordplay and ambiguity. The musicians were German and they wanted the music to reflect this origin. It was inevitable that German singing would suit the music best. As the band say, it is monotonous, blunt, angular and easily rubbed in. The last member of Rammstein to join was keyboard player Christian Flake Lorenz. By this time, the band's sound was already taking shape, and Kruisper knew that the keyboards he envisioned for their songs would have to be in some way upstream and work against the general grain of the music. Kruisper uses the well-worn musical metaphor of a stew and describes flake as the nervous sugar that makes it taste better, the melodic sweetener to the harsh, rhythmic drive of the whole. Flake does indeed go against the grain, and in fact was very reluctant to join Rammstein at first. It wasn't his thing at all. He found it boring, dull, dumb and rough. Yet they gradually persuaded him to try playing along with them. And grudgingly he turned up. And kept turning up. 
In fact, he never officially joined the band, but he's still there, and that is good enough. <laughs>